Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. This video is about wave on a string. Here we will see how a wave propagates on a string. Here we will change various parameters of this experiment and we will see how it affects the motion of wave on a string. So let's do it. Here uh, let me first explain you uh, how we are going to change various parameters and what are the parameters that we will change. Here we have the facility to manually uh, produce a wave or to oscillate and we can also give it a pulse here and uh, we can change the amplitude of its variations, pulse width, damping, tension, okay, tension of the string and here is the ruler. You can uh, observe the uh, waves uh, waves motion and uh, how the particles how the you can see that this string is made up of uh, small beads or small uh, dots and you should observe the motion of each particle how it moves up and down and the propagation of wave on the string here we have uh, also three other parameters like uh, fixed end here it is the fixed end one side is fixed loose end and the no end okay so we will observe it in slow motion and also in the normal motion okay so let's uh, play with this first uh, let's see it in the normal motion so let's uh, start this experiment with this fixed end and uh, let's oscillate it okay so this is very fast so let's see it in slow motion this is slow motion okay so observe variations uh, let me first explain you uh, let's stop it and we will increment it uh, at very small uh, speed so observe the motion let's suppose uh, we observe the motion of this uh, dot okay so observe that uh, this is just moving up and down okay you observe it it has gone down and it is just moving upwards so it will touch this it will this uh, see this dash it will move up and down on this dash only so every particle uh, every dot or every bead on this string will move at its uh, place and will move uh, in vertical directions only so see this you can focus on any particle any bead just focus it if I increase the speed, let's see now. You see any bead? Okay, so this is the motion. You can also see it in a pulse. Let's give it a pulse. Okay, we can give various pulses. Now, I can also give it manual uh, pulse. Let's see this. We see uh, we have seen manual oscillations and pulses, uh, but the other end was fixed. You see here that this end is fixed. Now I will uh, change it to loose end. Now I'm uh, here. I have uh, selected the oscillate, and uh, slow motion is uh, good for you. It will be better to understand it. So it is fixed end. Now I am giving it. I'm leaving it free and it is now loose end. It is a loose end. So see the motion. Now let's increase the amplitude. If I increase the amplitude, let's see this. I have increased the amplitude, how it propagates. And we can also increase the frequency. See the effect. It's just moving fast up and down. And what is damping? If I increase the damping, let's see its effect. It will slow down. You see that amplitude has decreased. So reduce the damping. So it again increases the amplitude. See the variations. Here the tension is high. If I lose the tension see its effect 
the distance between these particles is uh, showing the tension if I have reduced it has uh, I have uh, reduced the tension to low level and if the distance between these particles increases it means low and if distance is less between the these uh, particles then the tension is high so you can see the variations by changing this scale now if the okay first let me make it high make the tension high and uh, let me reduce the amplitude to a medium level and frequency and let me reduce it also so it is uh, now loose end okay now it is uh, normal speed so we are just playing with it uh, by varying various parameters let's change it to no end it is uh, here uh, loose end and uh, reduce the damping okay and uh, let me put it to slow motion so it is loose end okay now let's see what happens for the condition of no end this is no end case okay so now let's give it a pulse if i will click on this then it will give it a pulse so observe it very carefully how it is moving this is if it is fixed end then so in this way we can change various parameters of it by keeping keeping it to fixed and loose end or no end at this side at this right side and changing it to manually oscillate or the pulse and we can also change these all these things you can change the width of the pulse using this let's increase the width of the pulse okay and now let's give it a pulse so the width of the pulse has increased you can see here it is slow motion let me change it to normal mode if I increase the width of the pulse then see what happens this is the pulse has increased pulse width and if I reduce it a very uh, a small width pulse so you see the variations if I increase the damping you see that uh, damping is low at this point see the scale and if I increase the damping then what will happen if I give it a pulse then it will very soon damp it will not oscillate let's see here again it is high damping and if I put it to lowest level of damping then see this so the pulse is not becoming dead it's continuously moving because there is no damping if I keep on increasing this then this pulse becomes dead let's see this okay so I think you understood all the concepts and in the next video we will see and will play with other uh, physical concepts concepts of physics so keep watching engineering made easy for more such interesting and informative videos thanks for watching have a nice day bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye